little vlog of Snoopy's holiday abroad this year. Um, Snoopy has been on many a holiday in his time, um, but he has never gone um, outside of Ireland on holidays before. So this year, um, just a quick introduction actually. So for anyone that doesn't know, this is Snoopy. Say hello Snoopy, say hello, hello. So <laughs> Snoopy is um, a Jack Russell. He is 10 years old. He is a very spoiled little doggy. Are you a spoiled doggy? Um, so he's going to Spain on his holidays this year. Aren't you going to Spain on your holidays? So he ha is very excited about going to Spain. Um, Snoopy doesn't know what Spain is yet, but I haven't tormented the last little while saying we're going to Spain, so as you'll see, the head tilts every time the word is mentioned because he's heard it so much. So yeah, so basically, um, taking Snoopy um, to Spain on holidays this year and I just wanted to kind of create a video just to show what it's like to travel with your pet um, abroad. So um, I've actually decided uh, to go by boat um, with Snoopy. The reason as to why I've chosen to go by boat um, and not by plane is just Snoopy is 10 years old now and he hasn't ever travelled um, outside of Ireland before and he's only ever travelled by car. Um, so I wouldn't like to chance him on a plane I don't think. He is very well behaved but he, he kind of, um, he can't suffer with his nerves a little bit. So um, and I know some of the airlines you can put them onto the plane with you, but they just have to be in a bag under the seat. But I just don't think Snoopy would sit in a plane in a bag um, for a period of time. And I don't know if I trust him not to bark then or cry on the plane either. Um, so I'd be kind of weary of other people then and stuff on the plane too um, and the reaction with how Snoopy might react. So yes, the safest option was to go by boat. Um, so we're going to travel from Rasselaer um, port and we have um, booked a little pet friendly cabin. So on the boat there is cabins um, specifically for pets. Um, so there'd be beds in it and uh, he can come into the cabin with you. And just So it's kind of a, a comfortable environment for him and if your dog is nervous or does get anxious, um, it kind of gives them that environment that they can relax and it's not too stressful on them. Now, the only thing we're going by boat is, it is a bit of a journey, it's 27 hours by boat to get to Bilbao in Spain. Um, so it is quite time, but look, if you just include it as part of your holiday, like it's not that stressful, you have a bed, you can sleep for some of the journey to pass the time, um, and watch stuff and just relax yeah, and enjoy it. There's also a little bar on the boat as well, so you could just relax there too for a couple of hours, pass a bit of time. But um, yes, yeah, so basically before you travel with your um, dog, you do need to um, get a pet passport. So some people mightn't be aware that you need a pet passport to travel outside of Ireland with your dog. Um, so this passport is for um, the European Union. Now different countries will have different requirements um, for different animals. So for going to Spain, um, what we need uh, to get for Snoopy is we have to get the pet passport, we have to get him um, uh, vaccinated uh, for, against rabies and then also just a couple of days then before he travels he has to be treated for a tapeworm. So, and then he'll just get a health check then um, off the bed just to make sure that he's all going to travel. So then when you get into Spain, he's fine, um, just check in in the port, get into Spain, that's all good. But then coming back, you have to go to a vet in Spain, and again, he has to be treated then for a tapeworm coming back into Ireland. Um, and just a quick health check then, just to make sure he's good to travel. So yeah, so basically then, within the pet passport, it'll just give um, a description of your dog. Um, so as you can see, here's little Snoopy's little picture there. Here's your Snoop, do you see ya? There you are. <laughs> uh, just the breed of dog that he is, so Jack Russell. Um, also, actually, what you need um, before you can travel, your dog has to be microchipped. So your dog won't be able to travel unless they are microchipped. And when you do get, say, to the port, you have to scan your dog's microchip number, um, or scan their chip, and then they they get their microchip number. And then that's actually also um, on their passport, so it will be compared with um, the chip in the port when they scan them on the machine then they'll check it against the passport to make sure it is the right dog um, that is going with you. So it's just all <laughs> to keep it above board. But yeah, no, it's pretty straightforward. Um, 
So we will see how it goes. It's our first time, as I say, traveling with this little guy here. Um, so we're looking forward to it. I think we can't wait for his holidays. Can you wait for your holidays in Spain? No. So um, yeah, I'll uh, let you know how we get on tomorrow and um, I will uh, fill you in and I'll take a little um, video and stuff of the cabin that we will be traveling uh, to Bilbao with. We are just about to head to Rosslear. Um, that's where we're going to get the boat from this morning um, across to Bilbao. So we have a 27 hour journey ahead by boat, um, but we will keep you posted and we will give you a little tour of the cabin once we get aboard the boat. <laughs> cabin where we will be staying for the duration of our trip to Bilbao and, and then you have your own little bathroom here, toilet sink, little shower so yeah perfect. Are you all set Snoop? Oh Snoop, little treat! <laughs> and we have arrived at our Airbnb um, so I will give you a little tour of our apartment that we will be staying in for the week. So this is the little apartment, the sitting room area. Hey Snoop! <laughs> be on your holidays in Spain! <laughs> and Thank you, Joseph. <laughs> this is the bathroom then. And I know this new the back. And then this is the bedroom. Where are you going to sleep? It's just checking it all out now. You're checking it all out. <laughs> yeah, so absolutely beautiful little apartment for the week. And the sun is shining. It is 20 degrees outside. Um, so we have been very lucky so far. Um, and we also then had a very nice crossing. Um, it was very calm and not a bit shaky at all on the boat. So we were very lucky. Um, yeah. So we will keep you posted and give you a little update of what we do next. This is the park then just beside our apartment. So it's very dog friendly here. Um, so we'll be coming here most mornings anyway to get our steps in.
We're at the beach. We're at the beach. Snoopy, are you living your best life? Snoopy requested to go and see the giant puppy in Bilbao so um, we're going down around today just to explore um, and as you can see there in front of us that is the giant puppy just at the museum. Barcelona. Um, this wasn't in our plans but my sister is actually living down in Barcelona. It's about a six hour drive from where we are in Bilbao at the moment. So we thought it'd be nice to drive down and surprise her with, with little Snoopy. Um, so she won't be expecting us. We hope she'll be there. On our way into the funicular now, um, we are going to go up then to look out at the viewpoint which looks over um, Bilbao. So it's very dog friendly over here as you can see. Are you in the funicular? Oh yeah, where are we going? So Snoopy is just here to get his tapeworm tablet today so he can travel back to Ireland. And that's a wrap. So we are just heading now um, to get the boat in Bilbao Port um, and we will be heading back to Rosslier. So we've had an amazing time here at Bilbao. Snoopy is just having his last little run on the beach now um, before we board the boat. 